And all this sounds really cool, right? Like all these things like VIP. Oh, that sounds so great. I mean, it would have been if it was organized properly, but we'll get into that. What is up, Crackhead Nation? It is your girl, Princess Galaxy, and today is a fun, exciting story time about the worst K-pop concert I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> I was so shocked. I've never been to a concert this organized in my life. But before I get into my worst K-pop concert experience, I want to let you guys know that I have a new Depop store and a new Amazon store. And I also have an Amazon wish list. So if you're generous enough to want to buy me anything for my empty apartment, I would appreciate it. And also like this video, it really helps me. And let's get into the worst experience I've ever had, ever. Well, one of them, ever. Yay. Wow, it's a coincidence I have this tea because <laughs> I'm gonna be stealing. So yeah. So let's just have some background to this story. Also, I just wanna let you know the reason why I'm in my bed right now is because um, I don't have a table to film on and um, I literally haven't gotten up all day. But I did get up to take a shower. That's pretty good. I, I took a shower. I watched some Try Guys videos and I came back to the bed. <laughs> so let's just have a little background to this whole conundrum. Conundrum, girl. <laughs> My English is so fucked up. Conundrum. It's January 2019 and Blackpink just announced that they were going to be having their first North American tour. Ah, oh, I was literally so excited. Like literally I saw it and like I was with my ex-boyfriend at the time. Like I was like in bed, but like, we were both in bed and I literally started crying. He's like, what is wrong? And I'm like, Blackpink's going to Coachella and they're gonna be going on tour. I was like, ah, like, I want to go to Coachella so bad, but obviously like I did not have the moolah to be doing all that, but whatever, I'll go next time. So I swore to myself that I would get VIP tickets and I did. So the VIP ticket included a general admission floor seat with early entry Entry into the venue, sound check, and VIP merch. So all this sounds like super awesome. I'm like really excited. So for months, literally, like I'm saving up until I believe tickets went on sale. Because the concert was in April. And I forgot when the tickets went on sale. Whatever, details, details. So I get the VIP ticket and I, of course, I'm so excited. I'm like, like my feelings, my because I'm a huge blink, you know what I'm saying? Like I love Blackpink so much, and so I'm just like Ugh. And all this sounds really cool, right? Like all these things like VIP. Oh, that sounds so great. I mean, it would have been if it was organized properly, but we'll get into that. Let's fast forward to April 2019, the day before the concert. So I drove to Chicago the day before and stayed at a hotel that was really close to the venue. And it was around seven or eight o'clock at night. And I was in Chicago and I was like kind of excited and blah, 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 yeah, yeah, because that's all state arena. And so I went by the Target that was right across the street. And I noticed, I kind of realized that we didn't have any information for sound check because usually for K-pop concerts, they'll give you like information about sound check before like the day of the concert. So already that was a red flag. So I literally, my little black self had to walk all the way to the all state arena. I mean, I could have drove. Did I drive? Whatever. So I basically walked all the way to the box office of the arena because I didn't know where they would be. So I just, the box office was open. So I was like, hey, do you guys have any information on like sound check? Like any information for tomorrow? Any time they're supposed to be in line? And like this old guy was like, hold on. And then like he goes to the back and literally it's like, I'm standing there for a long time. Like I think maybe five or 10 minutes. It's not that long, but it goes by so slow, you know, when you're just standing there. And he comes out and he just hands me the paper. He says nothing by the way. And he, he just hands me the paper. So that was the first clue that I got that it was probably like a shit show. <laughs> like that was like the precursor of the shit show. And I put it on all my social media. I put it on Twitter and Reddit, on the Blackpink subreddit, which you guys should check out because it's a great place to talk about Blackpink without um, ridiculous Stan Twitterness. But that's fine. Whatever. If you like Stan Twitter, that's cool. But Reddit's the place I love to be. And so it was just really interesting because I'm like, if if this organization, like if this management company was like a decent one, they would have already had this. But whatever. Let's continue. The day of the concert. <laughs> oh shit. 
<laughs> so I woke up super early. Well, to me, it's like super early. It was 8 a.m. And like my time, I live in Michigan at the time. I still live in Michigan, but I lived in Michigan at the time. So I was like super early, like an hour early. It's like, oh, look at my, I was not used to getting up at all. So I woke up at 8.30 their time because it said on the sheet that sound check, the sound check line would start and we would get wristbands at 9 a.m. And so I get there at like maybe 8.50 and there's like a few people in front of me, but I'm like maybe one of the first 10, you know, whatever. And the line does not start at 9 a.m. They don't start passing out the things at 9 a.m. There's like, it's, it's just like, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure they were like a half an hour late when it came to passing out wristbands with numbers on it, which keep in mind the numbers, those will be important for later, okay? <laughs> And then like while I was in line like waiting for sound check and like they finally started passing out the the wristbands you know that have numbers on them I was like okay you know it's not a big deal it's like black pink you know it's like it's a concert so it'll be fine and then at 11 o'clock we have to go to the VIP line and then that line starts late and it's really unorganized and we don't know where to go at first we were on the on one side of this of, of the arena just standing there in a, a line and then they're like no to the box office it's like okay like no one really is giving us good instructions so then we got a vip wristband and that had a number on it too so it was just like let's just make this more confusing for every single blink in this line that's been waiting for hours already so after we left the vip line a group of us um who like were some amazing people i met on twitter shout out to you guys iconic we love to see it and we decided to just like, you know, hang out with each other, get some merch and stuff until 4 p.m. So we get in the line before 4 p.m. for sound, this is for sound check. So the earlier line was for sound check wristbands, for, but for this line, it's for like actual sound check. So it's like even more exciting, you know? So it's like, oh, like your excitement is like really getting to you. So I have to kind of blame myself for a little bit of what happened, not just for schedule wise, but I had all that time before 4 p.m. and I didn't even eat anything. Like I literally just got like, I think across the street, there was a Starbucks and like I took my merch back to the hotel room that I was like I didn't want to carry it around you know like in the pit and everything for GA so I was just like okay like you know whatever and I didn't even consider eating so <laughs> I fucked up but you know what we learn lessons in this life we learn lessons so once we all get back to the arena and we have to be in line at 4 p.m. for sound check um it's four o'clock and everyone's in line and we're not going in. And then it's 4.10, we're not going in. 4.20, blaze it, <laughs> we're not going in. 4.30, no. 4.45, basically around five o'clock. Now this is like two hours before like the concert actually starts. So it's like the rushness is literally in fucking sane. Like that whole concert was literally so late. And like I get concerts being late, but it's like, it, it was a long, it was about maybe a, a half an hour to an hour wait. I'm like, I was like, girl, <laughs> it's not organized at all. And so about 4.45, we're told to like go into like the arena, but not like the arena part where like the per they're active, like the performances or anything like that. We're asked to like go to this like random bar, food, restaurant area in like this garage looking part of the arena and I'm just like we're being heard around like cattle right now and like we're hungry like a lot of us didn't eat you know like including me and stuff and so like I'm starting to kind of like feel really fucking tired like I'm just like okay like I'm kind of feeling like shit right now <laughs> you know like eh. so at this time it's about five o'clock and so the, the 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 head manager opa which like he was obviously Korean and like I like I don't want to be rude to him well, actually, I don't care. But like, he just seemed like, oh, I'm a hot Korean guy. And oh, these, these girls like me because I'm hot and Korean. And so he was like talking to the girls in line, basically like in like a superiority way, kind of like talking down to them. So, and like, I don't know, like it just seemed kind of like a weird power balance. And so that kind of like made me sigh up. It's like, just because you're Korean don't mean I want to fuck you. <laughs> like, I'm not here for you. I'm for, I'm here for Blackpink, okay? And like, 
Like, it, I don't know, that just kind of put me off. You can be sexy, but also be responsible. <laughs> that's all we want it's not asking for much and so literally right before we go to sound check like 10 minutes before this guy is like the the hot manager korean opar or whatever he's basically talking to us about how apparently blackpink just got there and like they've been sleeping and so that's why they were late and at first i was like mm, okay trying to make excuses but then we went to sound check and you saw jenny's hair and you could tell like that girl she was knocked out before that <laughs> like she was like <laughs> like i love it like it's not even shade it's just so funny like it was just hilarious and um so we were able to go in and it was so funny because the guards were like walk 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 and then literally everyone just ran <laughs> we like ran down to the arena and we were like let's go because <laughs> like finally like we've been in so many lines together like we've been herded like cows this whole day and it's like Finally, like we're getting close to the girls, like for sound check and stuff. And so we get the sound check and we wait like maybe a few minutes before like, I think they come, I think they came up from like the things on stage for like when they start, because like in the beginning of the concert, they come up from the, from the ground, from the bottom of the stage. And I think like they were testing that, so they came up that way. And so I was in the front, so this is like sound check now. So we're in sound check and I think they play like three songs. One of them was really, I don't remember the other two but um the girls were like really nice you could tell some of them were kind of tired which is like understandable jisoo i didn't really see jisoo during soundtrack i think she was more towards like the end of the stage like in like the the, the walk the runway part of the stage but rose was like by the front and everything they're just walking around and i could tell like rose and lisa had really good energy no shade to jenny or um jisoo but you know, I mean, they're tired, of course, tour, like we saw the documentary, like tour is pretty hard on all of them. So I thought it was a really fun experience. I saw someone's phone get taken away, like literally as soon as, I don't know who don't be reading these rules, but someone was like, literally, as soon as they got their phone out, a security guard, like just yanked it from them. Like, um, like from, <laughs> because they were like, the security guard was by the stage, so it was like a yoink. Like I literally saw his hand like, <laughs> I'm like I've never seen someone get their stuff taken away during sound check because I've never broken the rules of sound check. <laughs> I'm a good girl. Okay. Another note, I just this is just like a personal thing for me. Literally as soon as I saw Rose, like she was in the front and like she she looked down and she was like she waited at me, she was like like me and the girls we were next to it. She was like, Hi and I immediately just like <laughs> <laughs> like I just start crying. I'm like looking at her. I'm like, look at you now. Look at me. Look at you now. Look at me. Like, girl, I cannot. Like, you were so beautiful in real life. Like, what the fuck? But that was like super duper fun. Like, even thinking about it now, it just makes me laugh so hard. Like, it makes me cry. I'm like, oh, it's so, it's so awesome. My phone just fucking died. Yay. This video will be so late, wow. So what was I talking about? Oh yes, sound check. So after sound check, I was literally like shooken up so bad because I didn't, I haven't eaten for like a whole day at that point, except for like the Starbucks drink I had. So stupid. That's why I always recommend to you guys, um, you're not supposed to be going, hello. Sorry. Cool people. I love them, but. So anyway, we got pushed. So like after, immediately after soundtrack, we got in a line to be taken out to like our VIP like area because like we were the first ones supposed to go like go into the venue. And so literally we were outside for like 40 minutes and we were just like in a small little area like a, like cattle, like a bunch of pigs being ready to be slaughtered. Like it was so, <laughs> it was so crazy. At this point, I'm like, on the ground you know my friends are like princess are you okay you know like what's going on and i'm just like no i'm fine i'm fine looking like i'm about to die <laughs> so um about 40 minutes later we finally like i can't even think about like the increments of time because it was just so bizarre but like 40 minutes later about we get into the stadium like we get into the arena we start lining up and i'm the first person in line and I think I ordered something from the food.
food areas around the arena like you know before you go in and like there's food and stuff like that so basically i got i got a lemon thing from there like a lemonade or whatever and i was in the arena drinking the lemonade and the concert about to start and i have to pee because i haven't really drank anything all day and that's the only thing i had and it was like this huge like the ones you get from like fairs and stuff it's like as big as your face and i'm just like i fucked up i really did fuck up and so moral of the story is um don't be like me so the concert starts and like it's amazing i'm in the front you know god bless all this stuff like jesus is real you know everything like that i know this is a super fun time but like that was the only part that was fun you know like it was not organized it was not put together it was so it was so ghetto just like this video it's just so ghetto you know and after that we also had like a send i forgot to mention the send off thing that they have for blackpink like you can at the end you get a chance to like see them more up close kind of and like that was really fun but we waited so long for that and it's like we waited like we were standing there for 30 minutes we were all tired we were all ready to like sit down somewhere because we were just partying like for an hour and a half for the concert you know and so literally it was just so i don't know it was just so unorganized and i really feel like they could have done a better job at communicating certain things to people like to us because like we are the fans we're like kind of the most important aspect of it like besides blackpink and like you know everyone's safety like we should be like a at least a second priority not like a fifth girl because we i felt like an 11th priority so overall their management company who um was in control of the blackpink concert i'm pretty sure they've done other k-pop concerts too and they haven't been like really good and i remember leaving like this angry comment on their facebook <laughs> being like i could i could run this concert blah, blah, blah. i probably couldn't but i was just so pissed because i was in the line we were waiting for hours and we we're just shitting on them so overall it was a pretty terrible experience and i re i feel really bad because like it wasn't blackpink's fault at the same time it was just like the like people being so neglectful it's just like i don't know how you can fuck up that badly like i know concerts are pretty like brutal on like everyone like management staff and stuff like that but it's like i feel like there's no there was like no excuse really if you're communicating properly most of the things that happen should not have happened and uh, like even on top of that like I, I don't think i mentioned this but like our wristbands like we got wristbands with numbers on them and they weren't like people didn't even like get in line for their number and like the guy like the guys at the front who like were pushing us in like they didn't even i don't even think they knew about the numbers like they weren't enforcing it or anything so it's just like you get in you get in the sound check line like you get the wristband for sound check at like 9 a.m like you're waiting there all day for nothing because like you don't go early just to go early you go early because you want like the number on your wristband so it's like <sighs> this is so stupid like like what was even the point of the number system if you're not even gonna fucking follow it so overall it was a really stupid experience the only good parts is when we saw blackpink and that's basically it so if you like this like it on youtube subscribe for more crackhead content and i will see you in the next one <laughs>